This is 904 Michigan, where I lived from birth to 10 years old. Seven of us lived here. We couldn't have um, dirty rap in my house because it was gospel. So I heard a lot of Shirley Caesar every morning. You know what I mean? But my uncles let me hear R&B and let me hear a little bit of rock, rap, but not rap dirty. I used to ride my big wheel back here. I couldn't afford a green machine. I really wanted a green machine. My mama couldn't afford it. We couldn't afford it, so I had that red and yellow big wheel. I used to love riding our big wheel up and down here. There used to be high rises right there, like in Queens. I used to mess with a little girl over there named uh, Katina. I was five. We used to go to the zoo together. Her mama Jackie used to take us to the zoo. High rise is gone now. All this remodeled. Still Wayne Minor Projects though. George Calabinga, man. This is on the south side of Kansas City. This is where the, the chick who told me to write my first rap, Lola Morris, said stop beatboxing Aaron, and we want to hear you rap. So I wrote my rap, came back to school, busted it for the dude that I used to beatbox for and in front of everybody. And the dude I used to beatbox for didn't speak to me no more. <laughs> when I wrote my first rap in 85, um, everybody was rapping like, um, L O Q J or Run DMC and all this. Devastating and then I'm motivating and when I wasn't, you know what I'm saying? It's like that. So mine was like D O N T E Z Z. Devastating B Box, that's who I be. And when I rock the MIC, the party people jump. And when I walk into a party, guaranteed to bump. Now I'm stopping rapping in the year of 85, but when the money dogs rapping, MC rappers want to crap, but when you hear the vicious beat by echo through your bones, think of D O N T E Z Z because he stands alone. That was my rap. And when it came time to graduate, what did I do? Weeks before, I won a rap contest. I won out of all the rappers that perform, all the rappers that have been rapping longer than me and everything. I won. I can't believe I won. They called my name. Fell on my graduation date. What do you think I chose? My friends were walking across the graduation stage getting their diploma. I said, I'm going to open up for Kwame Nam. This is what I'm going to do for the rest of my life. I knew after that show. And guess what happened? <laughs> It's beautiful, every time I talk about it. This is the house that we moved to after we left Wayne Minor Project. Before rhyme came rhythm. I was a dancer from when I was in, like, like this, you know what I mean? Like, break dancing, from break dancing, came MC Hammer dancing, you know what I'm saying? Dancing with the Imperial Preps, you know? But when I started rapping, just to get that rise from people, that felt good. I didn't want to stop. I wanted that high over and over and over, and I've been getting it ever since. You know what I'm saying? Even when it was hard for me to break through because I was a different type of rapper, you know, I paint my face and had red spiked hair, you know what I mean? Come out in a bishop's robe. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I look different than anybody. I sound different than anybody, so it was harder for me. I got the name Tech 9 from a gangster by the name of uh, Black Walt. Well, I've been rapping for a while. We used to dance in a dance group. We were looking through a Guns and Ammo book. So you say, AK-47, I'm like, no. 12 gauge, I'm like, no, no, no. So we went through the whole book. And he's like, man, we didn't find one. So he flipped it over and it was a picture of a Tech-9. He said, Tech-9, because you, the way you bust, pop, 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 you know? I said, Tech-9, I said, that's cool. He said, that's what we're gonna call you until we find something else. I said, okay. As I got older and wiser, I noticed we spelled tech different than the gun. We spelled it T-E-C-H instead of T-E-C, like tech nine, the gun. T-E-C-H, like short for technique. The nine being the number of completion. I'm the complete technique of rhyme. I'm everything, the complete technique of rhyme, tech nine. The rest of the kids would be like, yo, we wanna go play basketball. We wanna go play football. Like rapping was my sport.